This wintry weather brought us frigid temperatures, as you heard Doug talk about, and also those gusty winds. Here's a look at the latest power outages. In northern Virginia, 17,000 homes are without power. Pepco has more than 9,000 customers in the dark, and more than 21,000 BGE customers are affected by this. News 4's Dominique Moody joins us live from Laurel, Maryland, with a look at some of the damage across our area. Dominique, what's it like where you are right now? Well, Sean, we have seen firsthand some of those strong winds, not only in Montgomery County, but also in Prince George's County. Sean, direct your attention right over here. I want to show you exactly what we see. This tree came crashing down onto this home while two people were inside. Meantime, both police and fire are asking people to stay home if possible. Gusty winds terrorizing roofs and power lines throughout several dozen neighborhoods. A dramatic sight here in Laurel where this gigantic tree came crashing down onto this Park Hall Drive home. At least two people inside during the crash taken to the hospital with serious injuries. Steve Stewart stopping by to check out the damages left behind after he too had trees topple over in front of his yard. I live right around the corner and we had a tree fall, a big pine tree it crossed, it blocked the road, but we we're able to cut the top part off so people get around. Prince George's County fire and police both responding to several downed trees and power lines. County DPW crews were out early on the roads spreading down salt to help with road conditions. Just over the border, Montgomery County firefighters arrived to sites like these in Silver Spring. The wind howling and forced branches to snap into pieces just steps away from these two houses. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I was uh, right in that window there doing uh, doing some work, and I just heard a, uh, the wind's been blowing all morning, but I heard a particularly loud gust and uh, a truck go by and uh, then some booms. It's been a busy 24 hours for first responders around the state and in Montgomery County dealing with both accidents and the effects of severe wind gusts. We had a number of crashes, uh, you know, dozens in fact. Uh, we've probably had a dozen or so calls for wires down, a few transformers are blown. Uh, so there are obviously power outages. We've had a few trees down. Their message is clear tonight, heading in tomorrow morning. Planning for that just in case scenario. We don't like to think about our vehicle breaking down, but with the extremely cold conditions, that can be a possibility. If you don't have to go out, don't go out. There's a number of wires down. And police and fire are both asking people to definitely bundle up if maybe they're going to be taking out their trash because of the hypothermia concerns. Sean, back to you. Uh, looking at the